What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are at Hollywood Studios again because the Frozen show is finally back. So we're gonna Yay. go check that out, see what's all new, uh, see how they do social distancing and all that sort of stuff. But it is a super busy day here at Hollywood Studios. Uh, I'm about to show you guys, yeah, as you guys can see, like that's the line for Slinky and Toy Story Mania. Uh, I'm about to show you guys how busy it is in Galaxy's Edge and how busy it is in Toy Story Land. So stay tuned so you guys can watch the Frozen show with us. Guys, they open up backstage for Smuggler's Run because the line is so long, and that's how the line loops through. This is insane. I don't know. As you can see, the line is still going back and back. We're not getting in line. I just want to show you guys the line here. Yeah, it goes into Toy Story Land. And the line's still going, and we're not even in Toy Story Land yet. So my guess it's it's a good bit of ways into Toy Story Land. And I was joking, but the line ends right here as you get into Galaxy's Edge. This is the, the one of the busiest days I've ever seen at Hollywood Studios. Um, honestly, it feels like a normal day, like a normal summer. Well, not even summer, it's because it's fall now. I'm totally lost in which month it is. But like seriously, like this is the line for Slinky, which obviously isn't a surprise, but this is mania. Like what is going on here? This is insane. Like I'm still, we're outside of Toy Story Land. We are walking by Walt Disney Presents and the lines for both Slinky Dog and Toy Story Mania are all the way out here. Like I don't know where the lines start. I literally can't tell you where the lines start if you guys can see. They definitely upped the capacity without anyone knowing because um, it feels literally like it would be normal capacity right now. <laughs> and we finally reached the ends of the lines. They both start at the Little Mermaid Voyage show. This is ridiculous. 90 minutes for Slinky, and you guys can't see it, but it says 50 minutes for Toy Story Mania. And here is the line for Mickey and Minnie's ride. Guys, this is insane. I don't even know what the wait time is. I'm about to go check that out for y'all. Um, but it's long. I'll tell you that, it is very long. So this is where the line starts for Mickey and Minnie's and it loops all the way in and out. And you guys can see, but I can see it is a 105 minute wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's insane guys. Like I was saying earlier, the capacity has definitely been upped for Disney World. I don't know what it's been up to, but it is crazy how busy it is right now. Like it feels like a normal day in October of last year. Like without the masks, without social distancing, like I feel like it's a really, really normal day here at studios. Guys, it's so busy that the Rise of Resistance boarding groups were gone 15 seconds. Like 15 seconds. Emily and I normally always get one, but we didn't get one today because they were gone so fast. Um, so we're trying it two again. But yeah, like 15 seconds is insane for times like this. So we're on our way to go ride Tower of Terror. And guys, that's where the Rock and Roller Coaster line starts all the way down Sunset. So if you didn't believe me when I said it was a busy day, just look at the line for Rock and Roller Coaster. Because as you guys know, it's down there to the left. Um, yeah, this is insane. So the Tower of Terror line starts there, loops into where Fantasmic is, comes back out, and goes to the ride. Once again, I've never seen like this since Disney's opened back up. And I'm thinking, guys, this is, like I said, Emily, was this? You think 50% capacity easily? On maybe even more than that right it's now. So as you guys know, rest in peace to the orchestra here. Uh, they were laid off last week. Um, their last show was a couple days ago, which is very sad to see because it was an amazing show. Uh, I really enjoyed it when I came. I don't know why it's not going on anymore because they got laid off because clearly, as you guys can see, it's busy. And we're back at the Frozen show, guys. So we're getting in line for the Frozen show about 45 minutes early. I recommend you guys get here early. Um, because the show's gonna be packed because it just opened up. As you guys can see there's social distancing markers everywhere in the lines as well and they are holding us off for a little bit. So as you guys can see they call group by group and the cast member here will uh, escort you to a social distancing circle where your group or party will sit. So we have to wait here on our dots until a cast member comes and gets us and will take us to our seats. As you guys can see, they're going first and then it'll be our door next. 
and we are inside. As you guys can see, they have it all sectioned off, so three seats in between each group. But it feels good to be back at the Frozen show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Disney's Hollywood Studios welcomes you to, for the first time in forever, a Frozen sing-along celebration. Dark and stormy night. No, it wasn't. What? Uh, ah, come on now. Uh, put Simba down. Good kitty. Magic, and I am not a fan of them because they wouldn't let me join their band. Their rock band. Because they're rocks. Focus. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be jealous because he's dreamy. What? You think You think this guy is dream? Well, great. You said that already. Uh -huh. I'm going to say that one more time because that guy is dreamy. <laughs> wow. Um, hey, Aria, conceal. Don't feel. <laughs> and she accidentally threw ice all over the ballroom. People call her a witch. A sorcerer. sorcerer. She impaled someone. She impaled Right in the spleen. Oh no, my spleen has been impaled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's on the bonus features. Huh? Yeah. Regardless. Aria, mm -hmm. it was beyond cold. It was frozen. <laughs> Get ready to let it go. But don't let go of face covering. Cold never bothered me anyway. Let it go. The cold never bother me anyway. Swish. Oh. <laughs> well, good. Elsa was failing. Hi, Kristoff, everybody! Hello there. That's not necessary. It's not necessary. Hello, nice to see you. Howdy. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Anna was wondering if you've seen Elsa yet. It's almost time for the Arendelle Festival. I believe that you are the reindeer. You smell like the beginning of purple. P. U. Yikes. <laughs> You know, I did help Anna a lot. Without me, she never would have made it to the North. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're hot. <laughs> wow, that's the whole thing. Great, okay. Well, obviously you think he's dreamy and, and Hans is dreamy. And how come you never call me dreamy, huh? Because you dress like an elf. What? Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Aria, how could you say that? You know I have low elf esteem. <laughs> Snowman named? Oh. Yes, he likes warm hugs in summer. Snowman who loves the summertime. How can you not love this guy? <laughs> and then she freezes her heart? <laughs> when she learns to very no space. He sees marshmallow after them. Kristoff and Anna almost died jumping off of a cliff, but luckily the snow was near to soften their fall. We learned that Olaf has no skull and no bones. <gasps> I don't have a skull. Or both. Olaf <laughs> oh, well, comes to Anna's rescue. Well, Olaf convinces Anna that Kristoff and not Hans is her true love. Well, then Anna runs. <laughs> well, she uh, shuffles back to Kristoff just as she starts to freeze when she sees Hans about to kill her sister. What? She stands there in the blizzard. Poor the mute. Does she save herself? Does she save her sister? Saved our whole kingdom. You saved your sister and yourself. And I. 
So we just got out of the Frozen show and it was awesome as usual, a great time. I uh, really enjoyed it being back in the park and as you guys could see, they brought the Snope back. So my guess is Snope's gonna be, Snope is gonna be back in the Magic Kingdom and in Hollywood Studios. Cause they do a Magic Christmas Kingdom, right? Time? Yeah, on Main Street. Yeah, so hopefully, cause they're not doing the Christmas party, hopefully they bring it back during at least the I nightish time will. of Magic Kingdom. But that was exciting to see. Here. Yeah, so All it was right. exciting to see that. So we're heading over because we have, we're gonna go ride Tower of Terror um, but as you guys look over here, the Keystone Clothers is now open, so we're gonna go it check it out. It opened at like 11. It was yeah. not open when we first got here. Yeah, we got first got to the park, it was not open at all, and then we were in Frozen, and Emily was on her phone, and it opened up, so we're about to go check it out. So, guys, this used to just be a Star Wars store only, but as you can see, they brought all the Marvel stuff. So, it's half Marvel and now half Star Wars, which is really cool to see that now they have Marvel in the theme parks. As y'all can tell, it has died down a little bit here at Hollywood Studios. Um, Cause as you guys remember the line for rock and you see right here, um, still a little bit busy, definitely not as bad as usual, but Rise has been down all day long. Um, so it's not looking too bright for me and Emily to get our boarding group at uh, two o'clock. So we'll see how it goes. But yes, it's definitely a lot less busy as you guys remember earlier this morning when we were walking down Sunset. So we finished up at Tower of Terror and we did Rock and Roller Coaster, saw Edwards. Uh, now we're heading to Toy Story Land to do Toy Story Mania and then go to the gift shop in Galaxy's Edge to get me a blue Kyber Crystal so I can add to the collection. So now I'll have red, white, and blue. blue. Wow. And like we always do when we're here at Hollywood Studios, gotta do Toy Story Mania. Y'all comment down below what you, who you think is gonna win. It's obviously gonna be me. Nope. I'm gonna try to get my high score today, try to get over 385,000. Let's see. Well guys, we got on and something happened to our car. It like jumped the track or something and it went, made a loud crashing noise and now we got this. So we can't even shoot. Nothing's going on. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can re-ride. So I won as usual. Um, but we did experience a little crazy thing. The ride broke down on us. Uh, it didn't so the, break down. Well, yeah. Well, the car, like, I don't know, it jumped. Like jumped track or like something was wrong. And made some like loud banging noise. So the whole time, like you guys saw, it said sorry. Like thing is down. The whatever it said, whatever it said. Shooter probably not. Yeah. So the shooter was down, and then we went through. Then like the last two rooms worked for us. We went. Or was the first two rooms didn't work, and then the third one started working. Yeah. So once we had the third one, it started working. And we got to the end of the ride again off with the cast member now and he would just like let us ride again, which is super nice. Um, and now we are on our way to go get another Kyber Crystal for me.
All right, guys, that is gonna be the end of today's videos. I got my Kyber crystals. I decided to go with blue and green instead of just the blue. You can call it obsession. I think it is. We watched the Frozen show today. Uh, it was awesome. awesome. They kept the Snope, which I didn't think they were gonna do it, but they did. Um, it's perfect. It was awesome, just as it used to be. Uh, we were Tower of Terror, we were Rock and Roller Coaster, Toy Story Mania, Sojo Galaxy's Edge. It was insane. Showed you guys an inside look at Doc Ondar's, uh, the store there in Galaxy's Edge. But if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. But with that being said, today's video is over. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.